Tonight, we're taking a closer look at possible judicial misconduct in Washington County. A chief judge is facing dozens of counts ranging from alleged inappropriate jokes during court proceedings to sexual harassment. Will Rio, live in our newsroom tonight. So, Will, what have you uncovered? Well, Robert Reeves, the chief judge for the Middle Judicial Circuit Superior Court in Washington County, is being investigated for 58 counts of alleged misconduct. Since this investigation started in 2022, Judge Reeves is still handing down sentences. Documents filed with the Judicial Qualifications Commission, or JQC, which conducts investigations and hearings about complaints of ethical misconduct by Georgia judges, shows formal charges filed against Judge Robert Reeves on November 16, 2022. The reason for the charges, to determine if Judge Reeves violated the Code of Judicial Conduct. In these 56 pages of documents, 58 counts are written out against Judge Reeves. Those counts detail incidents of alleged improper comments like this one in 2021. While Judge Reeves was talking to attendees, a man started to leave the courtroom. Judge Reeves then made this comment. This happened in an open court with members of the public, members of the bar, and other court personnel present. From at least 2016 through 2022, Judge Reeves allegedly engaged in a pattern of improper behavior that, at a minimum, gave the appearance of constituting sexual harassment and or bias based upon the gender of various females involved in the middle judicial circuit court system. The documents allege that included inappropriate contact with lawyers and stating they should wear bathrobes and bathing suits during virtual hearings. Another charge includes Judge Reeves's participation in a promotional video with the Sunshine House, which regularly has employees testify in the Superior Court of the Middle Judicial Circuit in cases involving child sexual and physical abuse cases. In conclusion, the director of the JQC is seeking disciplinary action for the above stated violations of the Code of Judicial Conduct. In January, Judge Reeves gave his response to the formal charges, saying he denies most of the allegations or lacks knowledge of most of them ever happening. A few months later, in May, Judge Reeves files a motion to dismiss the charges against him. He claims the formal charges fail to state a claim for discipline for habitual intemperance, and most of the formal charges allege non-judicial conduct and therefore fail to state a claim for discipline for willful misconduct in office. Two months later in June, Judge Reeves' dismissal was denied by the JQC because the allegations contained in the formal charges, when taken as true, constitute violations of the Code of Judicial Conduct and warrant discipline. So what happens next here? According to the scheduling order, which sets deadlines for this investigation, after the latest paperwork was filed back in June of this year, a date for that final hearing will be set. We're working to find out when that is. And of course, we'll update you as we learn more. We'll be watching to see how all of that plays out. Will, thanks for the update there from our newsroom.